our world and way of life are threatened by climate change. As we sit here, the atmospheric concentration of CO2 is at its highest level in approximately 800,000 years and has increased by 20% in the last 40. Our oceans too are at a tipping point. Sea forests evolved from viewing climate change not as a problem, but as an opportunity to roll our sleeves up and get behind solutions. There is still time to act. With strong, sustained reductions in emissions, we could quickly make air quality better. And in 20 to 30 years' time, global temperatures could stabilise. Tim Flannery was the introduction to seaweed for Seaforest. It was through Tim that we learned how cultivating seaweed holds huge potential in the fight against climate change. In 2016, the CSIRO James Cook University discovered that by feeding a very small amount of a native seaweed called asparagopsis to ruminant livestock, we can virtually eliminate methane. Methane emissions are this, from livestock production is the second largest contributor to greenhouse gas emissions globally, you know, second, second only to the generation of electricity. At the time, this game-changing discovery had one bottleneck. No one in the world knew how to grow it. And so Stephen and I came together and we founded Seaforest with the goal of being the largest and first commercial producer of asparagopsis in the world. With the support of leading scientists and researchers led by Professor Rocky Denise, we've unlocked the secrets behind the science and technology that drives commercial cultivation, both on land and at sea. Since early 2020, Seaforest has been growing asparagopsis in land-based ponds and in the ocean, and is now establishing one of the largest marine leases in the Southern Hemisphere, with the potential to produce over 7,000 tonnes of seaweed per year for livestock. And through the resulting benefit in avoiding methane, wipe approximately 400,000 tonnes of carbon emissions from Australian agriculture. Asparagopsis has this ability somehow to interfere with the, the microbes that would like to produce methane in, in the, the stomach of cows. And you know, it takes only a tiny bit, it takes 25 grams of asparagopsis to remove up to 98% of the methane that a cow produces. And what's even more amazing than that is that all of that energy that would go to make the methane is instead used by the cow. So it's like giving a cow 20% more feed. They're healthier, they grow faster, they produce more. Seaweeds are some of the fastest growing plants on the planet. Unlike trees where only the leaves photosynthesize and the roots absorb nutrients, seaweeds, the entire organism photosynthesizes and in doing so, capture huge amounts of carbon. In fact, they can grow up to 30 times faster than land-based plants. They're also very low impact and what we call a zero input crop because they don't rely on finite resources like fresh water or inputs such as fertilizers or pesticides and are unimpacted by droughts or floods and through the drawdown of CO2 hold remarkable potential in combating climate change. And at Sea Forest, this potential is right in front of us. By developing the science and technology that drives sustainable seaweed cultivation and pioneering the development of this new and environmentally positive industry, we can significantly reduce emissions and really begin to curb climate change. There are three pillars of action needed in addressing the global issue of climate change. We have to cut emissions by 50%. We've got to reduce the nitrogen in our oceans and scale drawdown solutions to wipe 600 gigatons of CO2 from our air and oceans. Seaforest is an environmental biotechnology company using science to address all three global challenges and creating hope for future generations on this planet. In this year, 2021, we really face a fork in the road. We have been tracking a worst case scenario in terms of our CO2 pollution now for several decades and we need to now start acting really, really firmly and resolutely over the next decade to pull back from the brink. What gives me the greatest sense of hope for the future? People like Sam Elsop who risk their arm doing something adventurous and risky but with a potential for a massive payoff for the planet. 
I think that you know that sort of entrepreneurism, that sort of spirit needs to be really respected and fostered in this country. If we can do that, I think we can overcome a lot of our problems. Whatever you think about climate change, I believe everyone on this planet wants to leave the world a better place than they found it. And I think Sea Forest is a company doing exactly that, fighting climate change and producing more food with fewer resources.